So here we go. It's been three days, a full 72 hours. I've dried it off. I cleaned it a little bit. I'm gonna test it out. Before I test it out though, I feel like I need to jump through these. What you need to do, if your FPV drone falls in water and gets submerged, these are the things you need to do right away. Number one, unplug it while it's still underwater. Uh, and I'm not an electrician, so this was just what I saw online from other people. I posted all the stuff I got from people on Reddit, so thank you everyone on FPV the subreddit FPV. When it's completely submerged, I guess the water isn't really good at conducting electricity around, so it's a lot safer to just unplug it underwater and then bring it out, rather than unplug it while like while it's just wet because then it can, it's a lot easier to short circuit things. Number two, once you unplug it, don't turn it back on, wait. Number three, don't put it in rice. One of the reasons that things corrode or get broken is because of the impurities in water. So salt water is even way worse. If it falls in salt water, you need to re-wash it afterwards in clean water and then probably with alcohol as well. But yeah, don't put it in rice because all the rice has this fine powder that gets into everything. Especially if it falls in salt water, you need to give it a bath in isopropyl alcohol. Rubbing alcohol is a mixture of compounds and isopropyl alcohol is not a mixture. And that's better for the plastics that are in there and the rubber and soft soft plastic and stuff like that. Just rubbing alcohol can really damage that stuff. And then the last thing is just be patient and let it dry for at least, at least 48 hours longer if you really wanna be safe. I've waited 72 hours. So let's see if this works. This is him right here. Oh gosh, man, I really hope it works. Okay. Turned on, Let's see if it connects. Hey, it's connected. Okay, before I actually power it on, uh, I'm gonna put it back together, probably quite dangerous. Even doing this was probably quite dangerous. But, uh, but you know, I'm a new, again, I'm just amateur. I don't really know what I'm doing or talking about. You can find way more details. I would suggest if you have any other questions, go on the FPV subreddit and ask there. There's a ton of really knowledgeable people on there. Okay, I'm gonna build this quick. Okay, let's go take it for a real world test now. Hey, here we go. Okay, nice. All right, well, that's really good. I would fly more, but it's getting late. We gotta go. Right? Huh? It's over there. Oh, I'm sorry. What are you talking to? Can I take it up one more time? 